Um, this morning again. Ooh, it was cold earlier today. <laughs> it was cold. I kind of decided to get off road for a little bit. Let me see. Yeah. This is, uh, this is what I'm looking at right now. So I'm really off road for a little bit this morning. As you can see that trail is real beautiful. <laughs> Just off road in there. You know, I'm about like 14 miles into this 27 miles or 26 so i've got like 12 13 more miles to go today you know i've actually just you know monday to friday i've just done the easy 10 miles so today it's like right now i have to put my foot down even more and be more relaxed with the running <laughs> because the more miles i do you know the more i felt it and don't get me, uh, the whole stretching has been extremely helpful you know the yoga the meditation so but uh, you know, I can tell I've been putting in a lot of miles <laughs> yeah, so I'm kind of just exploring right now you know I just decided to come up this you know just come up the road for a little bit you know I'm in this nice little trail right here so I'm just kind of just Checking it out, see where it takes me. I'm exploring it. So, I gotta get this. And so, while I'm doing it, I don't wanna go too far, of course, because the goal is to only run nothing less than 26 miles a day. If I go a little further, 27. That's the goal for today. <laughs> yeah, 27. That means I've really got a focus. And today, I haven't really picked up any emotion today. Except for exploration is what I keep on to explore things, you know. It's the only emotion that I can actually think of. So I've got to watch my steps here today, as you can see. And uh, because of it, you know, this is... Well, I gotta put my feet right now. <laughs> yeah, this is right now. So I gotta just, you know, I gotta, you know, I gotta be careful. So I'm just kind of just sort of exploring where I am. You know, I like all this. See, I'm looking at the moon right now. The moon is right there. So I'm just kind of just, you know, being in the moment right now. <laughs> being in the moment. You know, with this exploit exploring thing so i got yeah, i'm just exploring you know like it is amazing to be able to just come out here and say well i'm gonna run a marathon it blew me away you know and to be quite honest this thing is getting easier and easier you know it has always been easier to run 26 miles is not really a big deal. <laughs> yeah, no disrespect to anyone, but it's just after years of doing this, a marathon is not really, you know, as you can see, I'm really exploring today. I like this scene right here. So I'm just exploring, you know. So this thing is just like pure meditation. You know, pure meditation. You know, this is me meditating right here. Cause when I come out here, it just allows me to think, you know, just be grateful, allows me to choose what emotions I wanted, you know, so I gotta just really watch where I put my feet right up on here, you know, today I gotta watch where I'm putting up my feet, you know, I'm at mile 14, so I got 12 more miles to go, I gotta watch where I put my feet right here, so I'm looking at this waterfall right here, you yeah. know, Maybe I should almost even see if I could take a picture of it. That's what I gotta figure out. How do you take a picture here? So yeah, man, sort of, sort of just back into it. So this is how I do my 26 miles. Like I really just come out here and just, you know, just look, you know, look at nature. This is me looking at nature right here. You know, just seeing how things are and just exploring different things, you know, and it's my little prayer. You know, so today I'm gonna do another 26 miles or 27. 
that's the goal. I can't go anything past that. And I'm just thinking about exploring, you know. I just decided, okay, let me get off this road. Let me explore this trail. Let me just see what the beauty that nature has for me this morning. So that's what I'm just doing. So that's like my little ritual. So I already stopped already and actually did my yoga, you know, because every 10 miles, I like to stretch my body and just sort of just, you know, see where my mind is, where my body is, you know. And I'm looking at the sun. I kind of like the way the sun is shining in my hair. So mile 14 of this easy 26 mile meditative jog, you know, and just sort of just ticking along. And my emotion today, I can't, e I can't even explain what I'm thinking of, you know. My emotion is just sort of just, it's on that easy, just exploring, you know. That's what it is, exploring, you know. And it's pretty much like I, I'm going to end up doing yoga all day today. I started out at the house, meditate before I left. So while I'm on this run, I'm going to do some more yoga. See, I gotta watch my step, especially when you are running, jogging on places like this. You gotta watch your step, you know. Like this water right here, you know, it's just really pretty right here, real pretty. So it's like a little prayer, you know. You know, to me, this is war peace. You know, certain people do not have. There are there are actually people today who this time last week were able to do this. But because of some circumstances today, they can't do it. It's really crazy. You know, so, and for me, you know, 26 miles, that's easy. Real talk, that's, that's just easy, you know. And the reason why this thing is hard for a lot of people, why they can't do it is they don't know how to breathe and they're not breathing into their body, especially when it comes to yoga. So today, I'm out here doing this 26, 27 mile, and I'm at mile 15, mile 14. So, and I'm just exploring, just seeing how things are. You know, my emotion is coming from exploring, explore. What is, you know, what does life have for you? You know, and I'm talking about mentally. So that's why being in this nature today, you know, is what I'm really focusing on. You know, just watching this waterfall alone, you know. The beauty in this stone alone is just so powerful. And, you know, I, uh, <laughs> I'm i just so grateful for it, you know, what nature can do. And it's really funny, this is how we are connected to the whole universe. This same water is going to my village in Africa. <laughs> Would you believe that? That water right there is going to my village in Africa. It's going everywhere, you know. So this is just right here, 14 miles. I'm just exploring, that's where my emotions are coming from exploring nature you know let me read this uh, uh, yes enjoy your own you know miss janet yes i'm saying hello to everyone so this is just it you know take your time in the daytime go outside you know just kind of just enjoy it you know so today i'm running a marathon but i do whatever i want when i'm running a marathon because I've done 26 miles for many, many years. You know, especially when I started running ultra. So to run the 26 miles, that's just, it's not really a big deal. <laughs> you know, 26 miles is not really a big deal. So I'm out here today. You know, I'm gonna run another 27. The goal is today not to go past 27. You know, so for whoever is watching this, go inside of nature, just this little water alone. This is the beauty of it. This is God right here. You know, how that water is moving. This is it right here. This water right here. So today my emotion is coming from exploring nature. Can you imagine this water right here? This is all our energy. This is part of us right here. We are all one with this water. I'm actually going to get close to it. Just you can see, just see the beauty of it. You know, that's the water right there that everyone needs to see, you know. Be grateful. Be grateful. This is beauty right here. This is how it is. So, today, another 26 miles almost done. Mile 14, and I'm grateful. 
and this is just extremely extremely easy to come out and run a marathon it's not really a big deal and i always say this if a woman can give birth to a baby running 100 miles is nothing if that's what i always say i'm grateful for the woman energy so if a woman can have a baby let me read all this uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no it's all in the head miss jennifer uh this thing let it come back on it's all in the head it's because you want to during the daytime you can actually come out here by yourself miss janet you know you can come out here saying it's not safe for a woman that's absolutely absolutely not fair if you don't want to come out early in the morning, you come out in the afternoon. In the afternoon. So everything right now is all up in the head. The world is not as bad as they make it look. So if you want to come out here at 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock in the afternoon to look at this nature, it is absolutely, absolutely. And if you feel afraid, get one of your friends to go with you. You know, and the word anxiety doesn't actually exist. It is all created. That's why I would recommend study the uh, read Sigmund Freud. All these things are being implanted in our heads to make us be afraid of ourselves. And we cannot do that. This is God right here. This is that nature right here. The way that water is falling. So let me go ahead and finish this 26 miles today. You know, running 26 miles is nothing. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm at my 14, 15, so I'm almost done. So, and I'm going to say, if you have the time, wherever you are, what part of the world you are, go outside. <laughs> go outside and look in nature. Whatever part of the world you are in, go outside and look in nature. You've had a long week this week. Go outside and just look at nature. Be a child again. This is me on my 26-mile meditative jog this morning. All week, you know, you've worked hard. Take a break take a break like i always say i'm gonna finish this run right now 14 more miles to go what is it take a yoga class breathe into your body and watch what you eat one love